Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Come on, join in. We're going to get started here in a second. We have folks joining, so continue to join. Good morning and welcome. Welcome to our channel this morning. We have a nice good program that's going to be beneficial, I think, to a lot of us. Uh, we're going to do a, a cooking demonstration, actually. So um, come on, join in. And um, Hey, Violet. That's, that's one of my students. Hey, Violet. Good morning to you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you can hear us pretty well. You have been um, so without the mic, so just let us know if we have problems hearing, if you guys have. Hey, hey Elijah. Hi. hi. Hello, all. Good morning. Come on in to the cooking class. This man's about to fix the best red beans. This man can cook a bean. He can cook a bean. And I'll let you all judge. And uh, But hey, it's, it's got, uh, it's really good. I do enjoy red beans, all types of beans. But this morning we're gonna do a, a red kidney bean mm -hmm. cooking demonstration. NOLA style. So yeah, very common from where we're from down in South Louisiana. And from those of you who are, and yeah, let us know where you're joining from. Because if we have any from Louisiana, New Orleans area, you guys know what we're talking about here. In fact, we're going to use one of the red beans that's common to that area. One of the, one of the brands. Camellia, can you guys see that? Camellia red beans. Oh, we got Louisianian coming on here. Yeah, let us let us know where you all are joining from. Vegas. That's Elijah from Vegas. Okay. Elijah, you still like in Vegas? Oh. Crystal River, Florida. Just nice. don't add the pork. And you ride. And you ride. No yeah, meat. Yeah, we won't have meat in these beans this morning. No swine. We must decline if it's swine. Houston, Oregon, uh, Michigan, more Floridians. Oh, good. good. Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Hey, Eau Claire. close to okay. Minnesota. Vegas is in the house. You better shut your mouth. Santa Barbara. Okay, wow. No meat, no meat, no cholesterol, no fat. Maybe a little fat. Does, do be, do lagoons have fat? Like, uh, let me see. Let me no, see. no saturated fat. Y'all know I'm about to read these ingredients. 0 0.5 total grams. Y'all know I'm about to read these ingredients. 0 0.5 total grams. Y'all know I'm about to read these ingredients. 0 0.5 total grams. Y'all know I'm about to read these ingredients. 0 0.5 total gram. Francisco. Good morning, New Mexico. New Mexico. All New Mexico. right, let's go. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. So we have quite a few people from around the country. We'll wait till you guys come on DC. Washington DC. Okay. Thank you for the rose. Love the roses. Jersey in the house. Jersey. Yes, I am live. Okay. I don't, I don't understand what my aunt's doing right now. Tennessee. Tennessee. Chicago. Chicago. Hello, Chicago. We were six hours from Chicago when we were in Minnesota. And we, we only went like once. We should have went to Chi-Town more than that. I just Seattle. Welcome, welcome. Charlotte. Welcome. Like, share, follow. Like, share, follow. Put the hearts on the screen. We are about to show you. And, okay. And, and let us know, too, you. if you have uh, what type of legumes you have that's unique to the area where you live. Like I said, in the south here, Lots. New Orleans area, it's, it's red kidney beans, Camellia brand in particular. But let us know what area and, and if, what legumes and uh, beans are common to your area. Yeah, Cleveland, Kansas City. Um, I missed one. Pennsylvania, I saw you. I saw you. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Detroit, people love beans. A lot of yeah. people love beans, all types of legumes, right? 
But most of the time, when we cook the legumes, Allen's, we cook the legumes and we put ham hocks, turkey necks, smoked, whatever. And that's just giving us more fat, more cholesterol, more heart disease, more all those lifestyle diseases that we always talk about trying to stay away from and not get. We are trying to eat to beat disease, right? So we're gonna show you a plant-based vegan red bean recipe. And he cooks all the beans in the house. And that, that's delicious, smoky. You know it's gotta be good because we from Nola. Well, the food is always good. The area. When I say Nola, it's the metro area. We're not from the heart of New Orleans. Let's just say that. Make that clear. And yeah, for those who don't know Nola, that is New Orleans, Louisiana, right? Just a little <laughs> way of saying it. So, uh, but... Wait. Uh, okay. He says his mom wants cream peas, but you don't have that in Seattle. What's that? What What's cream peas? I... I mean, there are so many types of beans and legumes, and that's why I asked the question because I, I wanted to know what's common in your area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This brand you can't get everywhere. When we were in Minnesota, I had to special order, like I would have my aunt get me 25 pounds from Sam's or I would order from Amazon because Minnesota just does not have this brand of bean. And this brand of bean, it just creams up. It just creams up so nicely without the added fat. You don't even have to smash the pot. It just creams up. Yes, Minnesota is about them great northern beans and white beans. You like white beans? You, okay. Yeah. And, and I mean, all of those are good. All of those are good and healthy. You know, so um, it's, it's just a matter of, of taste and what you like, right? I mean, but we like these, I, I like the flavor, you know, uh, but hey, just use whatever you have in your area. There are so many types, right? So, and all of them are gonna be beneficial to you health-wise. You have Camellia Red Beans in Bakersfield, California? Wow, okay. I didn't know they would have those out west. Well, they probably, I'm sure they do ship um, different places, so that's good, good to know. What's up, Maria? All right, all right. Lies is in the house. God's plan. That's another name for what we do. She does God's plan. It's just another name for the New Start program. Sam's care. Every Sam's. The Sam's in Minnesota didn't. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's and I, good. I'm sure now you can probably get them uh, shipped in to wherever you live. Uh, just check your local grocery store. You might have them there. Columbus, Ohio in the house. Okay, so let's get started. Do we have yeah. anything else we want to say? Uh, we could probably go ahead and get started. We want to get started. Remember, we're talking about the eight laws of health. Today is the end. Um, do we have any old students in here? Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Tap the screen. Do we have any old A-plus students who can quickly, in the comments, tell us what the eight laws of health are? Right now, we're dealing with nutrition, ideal, superior nutrition, right? But can somebody on the live tell us what the New Start acronym stands for? It's eight laws of health. We cooking red beans. It's Soul Food Sunday. Red beans. No meat, but it's going to taste good. And we're going to make them smoky. I'm going to show you some tricks to make them smoky. Now, he's going to do his recipe, and I'm going to tell you how the little things I do. Hey, Delaware in the house. All right. That's it, Cheryl, thank you. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, temperance, uh, rest, air, and trust in divine power. Yes, Pennsylvania, hello, hello, hello. All right, well. Well, we could perhaps get started then. Like I say, it's a cooking right. demonstration this morning. I'm gonna show you how we eat camellia red beans, right? But most of us, hey, Riley, what we do before we start eating and cooking on this God-centered, platform. What we about to do first? Bow your heads, close your eyes, let's bless this food. Amen. In Jesus' name. Okay. Dear God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for all our viewers who join, are joining us this morning, and we ask that uh, these uh, principles may be applied to our lives, that we can benefit from, from these foods you've given us, and have better health to your glory. In Jesus' name.
Amen. We are eating to beat disease. Eating to beat disease. All right. What so you want to get started with? We're going to start to get started with. Here's again, we already showed it, but this is the bean that I'm using. Let me write those beans. This is uh, the Camellia brand oh, red bean. bean. But like I said, you can use whichever bean, red bean that's common to your area that you like. And so, like I said, for me and for us, let's just go. We're going to go with about two cups for today's demonstration. That's yeah. Good. Two cups. Because usually when I when I cook beans, you know, we have a number of folks here, uh, four in the, in the household. So I normally cook two pounds. And you know that will that will go a long way, but you know you can depending on what you like and how many folks you want to you want to serve. Um, for us, it's two pounds. Now, do you soak your beans? I normally soak them a little bit. Um, you don't have to, but it's up to you. But we definitely do wash them, right? You wash. Wash them. and sort preferably. You want to make sure you have. But these beans don't have stones, and they all, they be so pretty and round and. I mean, and my hands are impeccably clean. They're clean, y'all. They've been washed. All right? And normally we soak them, too. Right. We soak them for about an hour. But here you go, chef. All right, so what we're going to do. All right. Now, so with that, I'm going to add some water. I have a lot of water here don't need this. Good morning, Houston. All right, so if we had a recipe, I guess it would be to, to double. So if you're using two cups of beans, use about four cups of water, all right? And usually a pound of beans is about what? Two and a half cups, I think. Stephanie Ann, a pound of beans is what, about two and a half cups? I think so. Now, again, I usually cook two pounds, but again, you can, it's, it's to your liking, right? And, and how many people you want to serve. But uh, normally for two. Now, the ingredients that I put in is very simple. You all, is basic. It's very basic. I only use three, one, two, three, three ingredients, right? Because here's the thing. I really like to taste the flavor of the bean. So I don't really add too much to my beans, just the, the very basic staples, right? Your onion, your garlic, your salt. And also put bay leaves in it to give it a little bit more flavor. So let's put a little bit. I have it already here chopped up. So we're gonna put some onion in. Is my camera dirty? Let me check this out. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you for that. I thought I cleaned it this morning. Sorry. Y'all, let me clean this camera. And I'm not going to put as much seasoning in right now. Better. Because I'm not cooking as many beans. But normally the ratio I use, so if I'm cooking a pound of beans, the ratio is normally, for me, one onion and one bulb of garlic to a pound of beans. Now, if I'm cooking two pounds, I'll double that, right? I really like the flavor of onion and garlic, so I, I kind of add a lot. All right, but here. Um, I have a, she says, I have never had luck with dry beans. I always come out hard no matter what I do. Soak them. Yeah. Soak them overnight if you have to. And I'm going to tell you, some beans just be old and dry and yeah. not good. That's why I like the Camellia brand. You didn't wipe the front camera. <laughs> Whoa. Let me see. 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 Are we blurred you all? Can you I mean, can you see? see can you... Good? I mean, from what I'm looking at, I I can see. It might be a little course. smear, but. And I also need another another um, protector. It's my lens protector, yeah, I think. Sorry about that, you all. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I mean, um, don't give up. Don't use can. Try again. We showing you. Okay, so. Pretend we've soaked these. It looks shady. You guys, do I need to do I need to really like clean this camera right now? Don't have me get my vinegar out. Is it yeah. disturbing y'all that? Let me see. Yeah, because I mean I'm looking I'm at be it. Clear. 
Well, thank, and thanks for letting us know that. Yeah. Because I'm looking and I, I can't really tell. I can see. But. Let me see. Is that better? Oh, it looked better to me right yeah, there. Let, let that looked a lot better. Let us know if that's better. Let me see. Everything. Better. All right. Yeah. yeah. I think it's my. I need a new um, yeah, sorry protector, that, too. Sorry. Mrs. So, Mrs. Myers will make it clean. So we, we've added our onion. Now I'm going to go in and add our garlic, right? And again, I'm not putting as much because I don't have, I'm not cooking as many beans. But again, now you can, the ratio again is for me, one, one bulb of garlic and one onion to one pound of red beans. But, and I'll double that if I'm cooking two pounds, right? But again, you add to your taste and to your liking. Um, uh, can I say something? Go ahead. You guys, now y'all know, most women who cook, we are using a food processor to chop all of these seasonings. We are using a food processor. This man, oh, and get this, he chops by hand. And he also uses a plate. He chops on a plate. What? <laughs> we have all of these. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'm just I'm just old school back in the day, right? So I just go with with the old fashioned way. Use the knife and cut it up by hand. It's but, so, listen, it's something in those hand oils. It, it, I, I'm telling you, it's something in those hand oils. It's almost like cooking on a stove versus microwaving. I know it takes longer that way, but here I'm just I'm just Shop used to used too. to doing it that way, and and it works. I mean, so. It's, it, it's good. It's good. <laughs> so, so we have our onion. We have our garlic. All right. It's all um, just about ready. Now, I'm going to the the thing for me with cooking the red beans. I like to let it cook slowly. Woo! I, you know, so I don't I don't rush it at all. You know, of course, yeah, you can turn the fire high and you can get it, but I like to just let it cook. Let all the seasoning soak in. So for me, over time, I would say. I would give it an hour, at least an hour. At least. And just turn that fire down, let it cook, let it simmer. And so it's a slow cooker, right? Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Turn this on. Like, share, follow. Many people need this information. They just want an alternative. So we're giving it to you. So you do not have to use the turkey legs, the turkey necks, the smoked ham, the bake, all that ham hocks. You don't need that. That's just giving you more fat, more cholesterol. And you can make it smoky even without using those things. Okay? So let's like, share, follow. Let's get our... Oh, let's get it up. Let's get it up. This is a cooking class. So, um, oh, no. question right quick. Oh, Let me answer this Some question. Questions. Okay. I'm writing the question, so I'll interrupt. Are we married? Yes. We're not newlyweds. How long are we married? Uh, no, we're far from newlyweds. <laughs> far. Like our kids, our, our, they grown. Yeah, we've been almost 30 years of marriage. I would say, what, well, 28 to be exact. Been together 30. Been together 30, 31, something like that. So that question, so no, we're not newlyweds, and we've been married a long time. You don't have to, just some good, that's right, just some good seasonings. Now, right. notice, so, let's talk about that for a minute. You're not going to use all that? No, uh, because again, I, I'll have to add more beans. I didn't put as many beans for this demonstration, but if, if I put more, then I will add all of my seasoning, my garlic and my onion here, but I didn't okay. put as many. So. So, so somebody asked the recipe. So for a recipe, we did a pound of beans, a pound of your favorite beans, a small onion. It could be white, red, yellow. A bowl of um, garlic. He does, you guys, he does a bowl of garlic. I love garlic, so I'll add it. I mean, and it gives it more flavor, right? So, um, and those are the, the three ingredients. The whole thing. That's oh, yeah. what he chopped up. The whole, now me, no, I'm, I'm going to put about six cloves. Just about six cloves. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so. Uh, and it's, again, to your taste and to your liking, but I just like the way it comes out when you put that, that whole bulb of garlic and that whole onion flavor. All right, how, how, how many cups of water? Four. And then you got to watch it. You got to yeah. watch it because it depends on how high you're cooking those beans. Um, the water will evaporate, but right. he just told you a slow. So you bring it to a boil like we're trying to do here. Then you turn it down. Right. Hey, Vita. All right. And after it starts cooking, you know, put that fire on a low fire. 
you know, you little, you'll cover it up a little bit. Now, I'm, I have it on a higher fire because it's just getting started, right? So once it, once it starts to cook, I'll turn the fire down and now let's cover it up some a bit. Questions. Okay. Um, no, we're not soaking in no chicken stock. To me, that's a waste of chicken stock, first of all. And we right. are plant-based, so we, we, and we want no cholesterol. That's, that's the a, point of this. Show. That's, that's a good the, point. I'm sorry. That's a good point. Yeah, because I don't put, I don't even add oil to my beans. So it's really just water and that's it. Uh, so, but you could use a vegetable broth if you want extra, extra flavor, but all these veggies. So for me, now this is his recipe. We are from New Orleans area, metro area. That's where we're from, but we've lived many places. Uh, currently we're in the Alabama, Northern Alabama area. Um, but we just, we moved from Minneapolis area. Okay. Um, now for me, no meat, no beast. We don't eat beast. We don't eat beast. We're plant-based. We try to keep the veggies and the fruits very, very high. Okay. You're from Louisiana. So you know what we're talking about. All right. He does onion and garlic. Now me, I'm just giving you another way. I'm going to add they, and it's blasphemy, but in, in Louisiana, y'all know they say the Trinity, right? The Holy Trinity is blasphemy. But you from Louisiana, you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. We are very genuine and real. We don't even eat chicken. That's meat. And after that bird flu thing, everybody should be trying to leave that chicken alone and the eggs. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to put some celery in mine. This is how my grandma did it. And I'm gonna put some bell pepper. I'm putting the onion, the garlic, the celery, and the bell pepper. Thank you. And all those are very good, right? So, I mean, it just adds more flavor. But, um, you know, we're doing it basic here. And again, I put a minimum of ingredients because I just like the flavor of the bean itself. And I wanna taste that. Okay. But yeah, you can okay. add as many as you like. Okay, and we haven't, that's the, that's the seasonings, that's the wet seasonings. We haven't even started with the dry. We also right. use dry seasonings. Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we're about to put that bay leaf in right now. Uh, the celery show, dude. I just like some celery. Um, somebody had a question I was about to answer. And I put, oh, <laughs> five ninety nine a dozen, more like $25.99 a dozen. Five ninety nine a dozen for eggs, that's good. I've seen it really, really high. Um, so our cardio routine, we do a lot of hit. We do rebounding. Um, again, somebody mentioned those eight laws of health. Nutrition is just one law. So we try to make our nutrition superior, ideal, um, plant-based, right? The guard, the guard diet, Genesis 129. And we, uh, so that's our exercise, our nutrition, our exercise. We drink a lot of water, uh, try to get our half, half body weight in water. We try to get that sunlight. If we can't get the sunlight, we're doing a D3. Um, temperance. That's that's big. This is that's why we don't put meat in the beans. That's why we don't consume animal products, period. Be and or alcohol or uh tobacco. Yeah. Um so any, that temperance any type of stimulants, you know. Yeah, like coffee. That. So that temperance part is leaving the bad stuff out and only trying to consume the good stuff. All right. And, and a lot of people say, oh, you're going to lose. You're going to just twiddle away. Do I look like I'm missing anything? I'm thick. Do I look like I'm missing a, 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 a meal? No, no, no. And, 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 and actually it will help you maintain your ideal weight. So, if, you know, you eat a vegetarian, vegan type diet, you'll maintain your weight. Do you know your BMI off the bat? Yeah, my BMI is, last I checked, it was like 23, I think. So, you know, which, is, which is pretty good. All right, another question. Yes, this is a lot of bay leaves, okay? My, my aunt cousin in Louisiana has a tree. If you can get somebody with a tree, child, listen, you have bay leaves for life. Hey, Steph, I'm going to need some more bay leaves, but I think we got enough. And how many are you going to put in here? Oh, Ooh, well, this okay. is a big leaf, right? Sure, that. Sure, that. <laughs> That's pretty big. So, I, I mean, but if it's that size, Ooh, one might do. But I'll add a second one. I'm trying to get these questions. 
Hey, cousin. Who is that? Who my cousin? Um, do we eat french fries? Okay. No. This is how I do my french fries. I give me a rusted potato, clean it really good. Hopefully it's organic. And then I, um, you know, slice it french fry style. And I put all my seasons, garlic powder, onion powder. Um, hey, hi, my cousin Malcolm's daughter. Is it Nuri? Is it, um, hold on, okay. So, um, anyway, I got sidetracked. Hey, family, hey, family. That's what I'm talking about. Like, share, follow. We're up to 7,000. Let me finish my story. Hey, Nuri, I knew it was you. Um, and then I put smoked paprika. That's what... Somebody asked what's going to make it smoky. But I put yeah. smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, a little salt on my fries. And I put it in the air fryer. And I use the skin on my potatoes too. And it's crispy and it's delicious. Those french fries are good. They're not fried. That's what I do. Right. So you, you kind of want to stay away from a lot of fried foods. So that's why someone asked a question about hey. french fries. And no, I, we don't normally eat those. And uh, just really fried and that saturated fat and stuff so we kind of stay away from that okay that's a question question uh hey kev kev's in the house thank you for the roses Little thank you for the jalapeno in. red peppers we do like <laughs> it spicy in new orleans we do like it spicy all right you want to hear this question baby miss what your man mix with we get that all the time what you mix with mixed what you mix with oh you're talking about my nationality <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> Well, I'm African. We are cooking. Right? It's cooking and we talking. Yep. It's cooking. Straight from New Orleans, Louisiana, right? It's a melting pot down there. For those of you who don't know, but I'm African American. We're African American. We black, baby. We black. But you know it's that Creole. It's a lot of native. It's a lot of French, Spanish influence. That's, hey, classmate, who is that? Hey. So, when do, oh, when do we stop eating meat? Let these beans go. We ask okay. these questions. All and right. that's the one wonderful thing about beans. Forget about them. Cover this right. pot. So we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna cover, cover it right now. Turn the fire down a little bit. Get you a crock pot if you feel like. Oh, I can't stand over those big crock pot, insta pot, and cook those beans. All right. So while it's cooking, we chatting here. Okay, we're chatting. That's what we on here for. We're here to answer questions, get to know each other. We family. Come on, like, share, follow. All right, now. Hey, okay, so I think I answered the question. You're you not mixed. She not mixed. Oh, she's back there doing something. Hey, Savannah. Hey. That's our daughter. You want to come say hi to the people? Hi, people. Hi. That's, my, that's our oldest daughter. There. That's my, my, my only girl. And only I got daughter. three sons. My <laughs> only girl. So, like, share, follow, like, share, follow. We have, okay, somebody going to ask what kind of beans again. Y'all be coming in all late. It's the kind we like. Yeah. Guys, and say hey to them. This is what we like. We just love this. We just love it. And again, if you don't have this brand in the area where you are, just whatever. Amazon. And you're right. That's true. You can always add <laughs> order from worth Amazon. It. It's worth. But it's Camellia, and it's 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 kind of native to the New Orleans area. Ooh, you know it. Oh, somebody say sweet potatoes. You know I just said I'm gonna bake me some sweet potatoes to go with these beans. Yes, Southern Living at its best. It's Soul Food Sunday, people. It's Soul Food Sunday. All right. So these beans are cooking, and uh, they're going to cook. Like I said, I like to have it on a low fire, and just let them go. Covington High, all right, yes. Now listen. Check your water level, too, though. Keep checking your water level. Now see, this is the difference between us. He puts a crack. I turn, you see, he got a little crack on this pot, letting that steam out. My grandpa said you can't rush a bean. He'll put it on it like that, turn it down real low, and let that steam cook that bean. Let that steam cook that bean. <laughs> let that steam cook that and, bean. And I was going to cover the pot and toast entirely, but for right now, while it's still, you know, it's really cooking, I have a, a little crack in it, let some of that steam rise. But Ooh, I will cover it completely. Beans are gassy. Now, that's a good point. That's a good... Hey, David. Oh, yeah. Hey, David. Me and Dave used to ride the bus together in high school. Beans are gassy. How you want to address that? Oh well, yes. Now okay, there, there, there's some things you can do to maybe help uh, mitigate that. I would say you can one just try soaking your beans before you start cooking them. Just soak them. Soak them in water for maybe maybe an hour or two. Just let them soak. 
Okay. And that may help alleviate that problem with, with you know, the gas and beans. So. Okay, so here's the thing. Soak them overnight and you can boil, uh, boil that gassy water off. You know them bubbles that's on the beans? That's the gas. Boil it off, pour it off. All right, then cook your beans. I have, I have heard of baking soda. I have heard of um, the kombu seaweed, putting that in your beans, and that's supposed to pull out the gas, those kombu, K-H-O-M-B-U, the seaweed, that does it. So there are ways to get around it. I mean, if you got to do a beano, you got to do a beano, I guess. It's an enzyme. Usually when it's gassy, you haven't cooked them correctly. These things put out some heat. Yeah. Or, can we turn it down some more? And I mean, that's a good question you asked, but also, you know, and let's talk oh, about, I don't think we addressed some of the benefits though of beans, you know, and, and you know, why they're so healthy. Well, for one, if you're a vegetarian, like we are, uh, no meat, right? So uh, beans are a good source of protein, very good source of protein. So right there, uh, another one, another benefit is the fiber, the fiber you get from beans. And really, in America, we need more fiber than we do protein. That's I know, right. I know, protein is really emphasized a lot, but really, it's the fiber that we need in our diet, diet more than the protein. I mean, we get our protein, but I mean, we don't need as much as what's commonly promoted, right? So, uh, fiber—that's another good one. Okay, let me address something. Okay, so somebody also said. Soaking in vinegar may do something with that. Um, the seasonings. We, okay, so first of all, those of you who are coming in, we're making, it's Soul Food Sunday, and we're doing a plant-based vegan, red beans and rice, southern style, New Orleans particularly. And we're using the Camellia brand red bean because it creams up really good. All right. Since we're plant-based, we're not using any animal products. So no sausage, no ham hock, none of that. But we're still going to show you how to make them smoky. All right. Um, he's telling you the benefits of the beans. Right. And uh, no, I, we don't consume any fish. You should go watch the fish, <laughs> that salmon video that I just did. Go watch that when you get off this live. Very interesting. Because most people think salmon is the healthy fish. This guy from the FDA... He exposing some things, so go watch that. I do like basmati rice. I do like basmati rice, but we try to do like black rice, red rice, brown rice, different grains. We do a lot of different grains. He would actually probably do some uh, quinoa, quinoa. <laughs> with quinoa. these beans. Not me though, not me, not me. But we gonna show you how we can do the different things we can do with these beans too. So keep watching. It's not just beans and rice or beans and quinoa. There's so many things. If you put a pot of beans on Sunday, Okay, all week you can have a different meal. Right. All week. They're like, so, share, follow. Like, share, follow. They're so versatile, right? So, I mean, you can do so many things with beans. And it's not just the red beans. I mean, we have so many varieties of beans, okay, right? I think I turned this off. Get this cranking and, again. And, and legumes. So okay, go get it cranking. All right, I think I accidentally turned it off, but that's okay. We are gonna get this cranking. Okay. So, what's gonna make this smoky? All right. What's gonna make it smoky? Now, do you do anything else to your beans before I come in here and start adding my little two cents? Well, I'm add my two cents. We put the it. garlic, we put the onion, we put the bay leaf. Now, to for me, that's pretty much it. Well, now we will add salt, but I add my salt, and for the salt, it's the Himalayan sea salt that I use, and the only salt that I use. And there are others that are good for you, but the Himalayan sea salt is the one that I use. But normally I add this at the end. When it's finished cooking, I'll add my salt. Uh, you could also add cayenne pepper. You know, if you want it a little spicy and from time to time I will do that. Add a little cayenne pepper. And that's it though. That's, that's all my ingredients. Okay, that's a good point. Somebody said they like pinto beans. Well, let me tell you. This same recipe with the onion, the garlic, the bell pepper, the celery, whatever you want to put in there, your fresh seasonings. Do it with a black bean. Do it with a, what is this, a lima bean. One of my favorite lentils. Lentils, I love me some lentils. All kind of beans. There's probably a, a dookie beans, cranberry beans, pinto beans, black beans, white beans, so red beans. 
green split peas, so many legumes. And they're all good for you. They're, they're healthy. They're going to give you the, the vitamins and minerals that you need, the fiber that you need. Remember, remember that fiber. Very, very good. Um, and the protein, right? If, if you don't eat meat, like again, we don't, you get your protein. So it's, it's very, very good. All types of legumes and beans. So we're letting this cook now. This is going to cook. Um, I like cooking on a low fire. So we're going to give it an hour or so. But, um, and after that, we have a finished product too that we can show you. But um, for this demonstration, we're just going to let it cook. And that's all the ingredients. That's it. Now, we can add more, like Vita just mentioned. If you like celery, you like celery in your beans, of course, you can add that. Ooh, add somebody say Bell pepper. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell you what we put my daughter's making in the background because we said we're going to show you. Why you want me sweating in here, baby? Okay. Oh, my Lord. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It's, uh, it's, this is just for demonstration purposes. Y'all know these cooking and we got a finished product. Black eyed peas. Pintos. Somebody asked me about cornbread. Now we talk about them sweet potatoes. We talk about a meal here. We would serve this so many different ways. All right. Sweet potatoes over there will be delicious with these red beans. Um, the cornbread. Now, y'all remember hot water cornbread? Too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Right. So you have. It's chaos, right, when you have too many cooks. Woo. But, uh, and then we have all these questions. Y'all, we got this hot water cornbread that we're going to eat with these beans. Yeah. There, there are some good side dishes that kind of go along with your red beans, right? So, of course, it's the rice, red beans and rice. But you, we mentioned cornbread. We mentioned sweet potatoes. Uh, some type of vegetable, maybe, maybe spinach or asparagus. Or something, something on the side. Greens and red beans. And hey, you have, you have a terrific meal. Okay, so this is it in the south, right here, right here. Collard greens, some cornbread, whether it's hot water or the regular, some sweet potatoes on the side, or yam, and the red beans, or whatever kind of bean. And let me tell you how my grandma used to hit, the, and my aunts, my great aunts and my grandma, they take that cornbread, grab it, Hit it with them greens, no fork needed. And I know my aunt is like, you better not do this on it. You better not do it on this live. I'm not going to do it on the live. I'm not going to do it. But that's how them old ladies would eat them greens of cornbread. And if you don't like cornbread, uh, if, you, if you're not from the South, and I, and I know we have many people on from different parts of the country, I mean, there are other, other things you can eat, like I said, rice, potatoes. You know, I know in the North, a lot of people eat more potatoes than they do rice. So you might like potatoes with your red beans. Ooh, black beans for the Cuban girls. Yes, and let me tell you, if you add a can of coconut milk for my island people, mm, coconut milk and some cilantro, you got a whole nother. Sop them greens with the cornbread. That's right. That coconut, but that coconut milk now is going to bring that fat up a little bit more. So that's something to consider, but oh, it's so many things we could do. So Biscuit and red beans. It's so, it's so versatile, right? It's a, it's a very versatile meal and dish. So beans, and then again, this is red beans, but there are so many different Ooh, types. Jalapeno corn bread, y'all know, y'all already know. All right, so what, how we gonna, what else are we gonna put in these beans? Well, they want to, they want, y'all want to see how we're gonna make them smoky. Right. All right. Now, I'm going to add the salt, the Himalayan sea salt. I'm going to add that at the end. But you can also add some cayenne pepper if you like it a little spice to it, which, again, that I do from time to time. We're going to add, where's the smoke flavor? Well, here's the, here's the cayenne pepper. No, baby. It's not cayenne pepper, baby. This is that smoked paprika. Oh, paprika. I'm sorry. Paprika. Now, if you got to use that liquid smoke, I mean... Look at that. That's like a tablespoon. I mean, you can, but you know, right? Somebody say, please don't liquid smoke. I mean, some people need that. I'd rather them use a clean liquid smoke than bacon and ham hock and swine, you know? I like to add salt at the end because, you want to tell them? Yeah, so this is again, Himalayan sea salt. 
and I like to uh, get the full benefit of the minerals of the sea salt. So that's why I add it at the end when it's finished cooking. That's right. I'll add it at the end. All right, yeah, we don't really measure. Okay, we're adding at the end also because this, notice I don't have the girl with the umbrella. I don't have her. I have a good pink, beautiful Himalayan sea salt that has 70 plus minerals. So I don't really want to cook my, I don't even know if you can cook the minerals out. We just add it at the end, all right? Smoked paprika. Also, if you like heat, this is one of my favorite things, y'all. Somebody mentioned it too. If you like heat, a smoked chipotle pepper. Woo! But everybody can't take that heat. So that's how you make them smoky. You know, I, I noticed living up north for a while, most northerners I know, I know don't really like the spiciness. So you may not like the 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 chipotle or the the cayenne pepper. You like it. You like your food a little bit more milder, which is which is fine. But if you're from the south where we are, we kind of we tend to like it a little bit more spicy. So we'll add that that spice to give it that that. Uh, now that now heat. we don't use black pepper, and that's for a reason. The, we have not. We know we research. Okay, read, find out, do the research yourself, but. We found that black pepper contributes to gallstones. And you know a gallstone will make a grown man cry. So I'm not taking any chances with the black pepper. I'd rather my red pepper. Okay. Um, somebody asked how long to cook when you soak overnight. It does cut the cooking time. You probably won't have to cook those beans about an hour. If you soak them overnight, an hour, hour and a half. You know, let them cream up. And don't use so much water, you know. Let them cream up. If you put too much liquid, it's just going to be a watery bean. Right. It's just going to be yeah, a watery so mess. You have to gauge, you know, like I said, um, just mm -hmm. check your water level while it's cooking. Make sure that you have enough, but not too much. Right. Like, share, follow, like, share, follow. Hearts on the screen. Tap the screen. This is all this, this TikTok stuff you have to say and do, right? So I'm going to do it. Thank you for the follows. Um, we definitely, when you go watch all the videos, you get a holistic picture of our lifestyle and what we do and how we live because it is a lifestyle it's not just about you know superior nutrition which is very important and one of the most challenging things for people but it's also about exercising and yes these lentils let me show you the sprouts yeah, you can that, that's another thing you can do with these beans yeah, sprout we, them. we didn't mention that but yeah we had a program on sprouts sprouting about a couple of weeks ago and and yes we did mention that but you can also sprout your beans too uh so here we have an example of these one. are some sprouted lentils right here I, my hands are clean my aunt does not like when i do this but it's like I, how else do, you want me to get some gloves like i don't know i'm trying to show you okay that's so the lentils many different types of beans that you can sprout right yes, so i um, have um some black beans some sprouted black beans, right? Can you see those? So those are very good. See those tails? Black bean sprout too. I know, that's how I feel. It's your food, do you? But you know old school people, they just be like, where is your hair neck? Where are your gloves? <gasps> Don't touch your face. Uh, again, we did a program with sprouting some mung beans. That's another one you can sprout. Um, just, I guess just about. Is alfalfa all of them. a bean? No. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. But uh, so the point is, you can sprout your beans, and you get you get probably twice as no more than twice. You get a lot more of the nutrients from your bean when you eat them sprouted. Yes, you can add the same ingredients to any bean or pea. Um, Yes, you can go look at the replay of the sprouting video. We have replays. I think that was last week or the week. Great. I'm, is that typing ticking? I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm glad you came across this channel too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for joining. <laughs> okay. You know what? You know. You know what? Is it Bellin? Bellin Mog? You, you, okay. Well. Okay. There you go. There you go. The endorphins from spicy food. Also, your metabolism with the little cayenne, too. It speeds up the metabolism. 
Um, so yeah, so this is gonna be cooking. Let us show you the final product. Not old school, <laughs> would you agree? It's to be safe. I understand, um, but I, I, it, more than being safe, it's if I'm cooking for the public. That's definitely hand gloves. Like I did a, I did a bread baking. Um, I was an instructor for a bread, bread, bread baking class last Sunday. Of course, we had the hat on, we had the gloves, you know. But in my home, look, my aunt germs. That's her germs. Okay, all right. Can we get back to the beans now? Can we get back to the cooking? Okay. These beans will cook for a while, so we just let them cook. But we do have a finished product that we're going to mm -hmm. show you. Because, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I let my beans cook slowly, so they're going to they're be cooking for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this on the side now. It's going to continue to cook. Yeah. This it smells so good. It smells good. And it's tight. It smells so good. What's in the beans? We have onion, garlic, um, you could put celery, bell peppers, um, onion, garlic, bell pepper, celery. Yeah. That's what we have. We put smoked paprika. We're gonna add some onion powder and garlic powder. In addition to that, some fresh parsley. I like that. Is it hot? It's not too hot, but look how creamy. Bay leaf, look at them creamy beans. Look at them creamy beans, hold on. We gotta plate this. Are you watching me? They watching you, they watching me. Plate this, talk to the people. So these beans came out really good. We cooked these in, uh, in the Instapot. Right, so they, they really kind of cook with a lot faster, and uh, and they work well either way, whether you want to cook it traditionally on the stove or with the uh, with the instant pot. Um, no olive oil, no apple cider vinegar. We didn't put any. Oh, that's what I'm saying. And look how creamy they came out without any, without any without any oil. Look how creamy this bean is. Look how creamy. It's so creamy. And that's that's using no, no oil. Oils. No butter, no fat. It's just it just creams up. Instapot 35 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes in the Instapot, you're done. Yeah. And so yeah, if you have an Instapot, well, you can you, you probably know about that and you can cook them and they cook a lot faster. But again, if you're cooking on the stove, thank you. it's gonna take thank you, you. Like an hour or more. Great person. Thank you so much. These are the camellia beans. Once again, these are the camellia beans. All right, plant-based vegan, no meat. Um, just the bean with lots of fresh seasonings, lots of dried seasonings. Um, we're going to hit it with some dried parsley on the end. You know, the salt, the salt. You know what? Then we're going to do something different. Those are salted. So we have the salt already in these. And again, you can add some of your dry seasonings later, but I'm going to show you a little demonstration Look here, here how you can eat these. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do hot water cornbread this time, okay? I'm gonna do a hot water cornbread, y'all. You know what? I'm not gonna do like I'm not gonna do like Mama Carrie and Aunt Bobby, and take my hands and I'm gonna get a fork. These things. Mm hmm. Do you cook meat? Um, I have I have a lot of plant-based vegan friends. Somebody asked that. Do you cook meat for you? Um, you know, one time I did cook a turkey when I was in Minnesota for some friends for Thanksgiving. That's good. No, that's good. I cooked one of Emerald, Emerald Lugasi's Cajun turkeys for my friends. They said it was the best turkey they ever had. It was the best turkey. So I have done. I have cooked meat for friends 
Um, and you guys, for a long time, I was a flexitarian. For a long time. That chicken. Like once a year or at the family barbecue or just that chicken would be calling me. I know. See, we have mixed reviews on whether or not I should have gloves or... or Mmm. Mmm. Now I gotta try this. And it's hot water cornbread. I added some green onions to it. It's good. You can add jalapeno peppers. It is so good. Mmm. Oh. This is not... I have recipe ebooks. Of course, I have many, but this one is not in it. But you can go support and buy us other stuff. Other good stuff. Um, not to mention the course, not to mention the new start course that I created because I'm, I am a teacher. So I created a course that step-by-step step shows you how to heal. If you have lifestyle diseases, hypertension, insulin resistant, high cholesterol, high, all of that, these steps, these eight laws I go through specifically and help you heal yourself, help you heal yourself. But you got to work the program. You got to work the program. And it's nutrition, ideal nutrition. We talking about the exercise, the laws of health. Water, sunlight, temperance, getting stuff out your diet, out your life. Right? Getting that fresh air. The art of deep breathing that people don't do. The rest, the proper sleep. Hours of 10 to 3, how important those hours are for health and healing. And putting it all in the Lord's hand. That's the course. The course is already there. If you go to the go to my um, profile, you'll see it jumping at you. That's the course. You register, download it. It's forever there. It's a digital product. I'm cooking and teaching just like we're doing here. I'm giving you those recipes that people love. We even got a vegan pizza. We're doing a lot of stuff with that course. So it's very good. I recommend you going to register. Hello, hi, we about to close out. Try these beans. Okay, I wanted to say, you want some? Put this on the side for now. He not, he not gonna eat in front of y'all. Listen, listen, what else can we do with these beans? <gasps> oh, oh man, Jazzy, you went there with it? I just be wondering with the gloves, like what's on those gloves too? You know what I mean? Like, it's always like this powdery film or something. It's just me. And I just feel like there's so much goodness in these hand oils. I really believe there's something in these hand oils, y'all. Yes, here we go. Different ways to eat these beans. So we just did the hot water cornbread. You know about rice. Welcome, newbie. Welcome. You know about rice. What I know about Nola. What you mean what I know? That's what we... Okay. You being funny? Okay. okay. Um, so she's making tortillas back there. So of course we do burritos, right? Lettuce, tomatoes, the beans. You can make chili and do burritos with that. You can do um, taco salads. Ooh, I know. Right, Jazzy? Um, rice and peas for my islanders. Um, and the coconut milk in there, that's another way to do it. You can do, make a loaf. You can make a meatless loaf out of beans, adding like uh, oats and nuts. You can do a lot of things with beans. All right, what you want to say, Ron, we yep. wrap this up. And traditionally for us, normally for me and for us, we eat red beans normally with rice, can you right? Make your and um, I, I like the I like the brown rice. But again, wherever you're from, if you're from north, you might want potatoes, right? Uh, potatoes with your beans, but. Um, from the south, it's red beans and rice, and again, some type of green to go along with it. Always like the greens for vegetables, you know, so whether it's, whether it's greens or spinach or kale or some type of green to go along with it. Yes. And pretty much, we, that's... Yeah, serving the public tacos, yeah, serving the public, you definitely need to have some gloves and, and, and get that hair out the way, and I have a lot of hair. So, daughter back there, I was gonna have her do a bean burrito, but she, she's still busy working back there. So just know you can do a nice bean burrito and cook you a pot of beans on Sunday. You will have a different meal all week and it's healthy. That's the main thing. You get the nutrition that you need, especially if you're plant-based. Plant you get your protein, 
You get your 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 fiber, copper, your fiber, your fiber, your potassium, um, iron, and so, it's filling. Like a lot of people, because I'm so hungry, I can't lose weight. I'm always hungry. Beans. Hey Compton. All right, I think that's it for us, guys. Thank you so much for coming on. We've been on here an hour and a half, so it's time so, to go. Yeah, I appreciate you all joining. And yes, go ahead, try your, your red beans or the beans from wherever you're from mm -hmm. that you like. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. Like, share, follow. Go ahead and try to take the course if you can. If you feel like you need to heal, you want some health and healing going on in your life, follow those eight laws of health that are in um, my course. Register for that, and we'll be back next Thank you. How beautiful. That is beautiful. Thank you for that gift. Thank you so much for that coral gift. That is beautiful. Thank you. Um, we'll see you next week, same time, for another Veggie Vita plant-based vegan something. Thank you all. We appreciate it. Thanks. Enjoy your day.